Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. That is Dale Chanel's for this world. Okay, we're going to get right on into it. We're just going to jump in the fire and pan and see what we can fly up. We get this information from UrbanVilleMag.com. And it's all about Phaedra saying she was a forerunner and catalyst of putting Marlowe on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? Now, an Amanda Anderson Niles wrote this up for Urban Bell Mag Magazine. And it was under in, in the entertainment section, and it was titled, Phaedra Park says, Marla Hampton is carrying the current season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? And we're asking, we're wondering, is that true? Is Marla Hampton carrying the current season of Real Housewives of Atlanta? And then just piggybacking off the, the article and what was being known as uh, information given within the article that Phaedra had put... Um, Marlo's name out there to Bravo to bring her on the show. Now, personally, she has taken, meaning Marlo has taken more pictures and had more scenes with Nene Leakes, Andy Burris, and even Kenya Moore. But I didn't see any pictures with her with Phaedra Fox. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, okay, you really didn't play in the basket of the playground of Real Housewives of Atlanta when you were on this show. You were being filmed, many Phaedra, with more so candy and getting into it with Kenya and things of that nature. Uh, and I, I just don't see it. Oh, well, I guess, you know, I guess you could have said, you know, if you really were telling the truth, that you did try to um, put out there that Marlo needed to become a Real Housewives of Atlanta instead of uh, being a show or a friend of the show. Okay, but she goes into this article. She says, Stadia Parks may not want to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she's still a part of the Bravo family. In fact, she made an appearance on Real Housewives of Dubai. She's also on the current season of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. In between all Phaedra's many jobs, she's also keeping up with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm not too long ago, and not too long ago, she threw a little shade at the ratings. Uh, show. Nene Leakes did the same thing as well, amid her legal battles with Bravo and Andy Cohen. The only thing I can say about it, yes, you missed the boat when it's no longer there sailing you across the seas, and you have to throw salt on the wound that's already being apparently bleeding out. So no mar I mean, no favor you're throwing because you're not there anymore getting parts of that six, seven, eight, fifty job. And a Nene, our Nene is still doing the same thing as well. She bit more off she could chew. She uh made promises and uh really made promises that her ass couldn't keep. Okay, or couldn't cash, I should say. But going back to the article, it said one positive thing Phaedra did have to say about season fourteen is she's happy about Marlo Hampton securing a peach. She was asked about this when she appeared on Watch What Happens Live. A viewer asked Phaedra what she thought about Marlo's promotion. Phaedra simply answered, You know what? I'm so happy for Marlo because I gave Marlo's name when we were looking for people. I was the person that said we should look at Marlo Hampton because she was so fashion forward and had all of these little elaborate parties and stuff. She added, I'm so excited about it. It looks like she's carrying the show, child. Oh, so Phaedra thinks uh, Marlo's carrying the show. No, Marlo is pay, playing an intricate part to keeping those ratings up by starting it. Uh, but she's not really on her own solo ball in the show. We have Kenya there, but she needs to go in and set the tone straight. But she said it's going left. She needed to go right. Okay. She's there doing it. Marlo is making 
uh, Candy be a more pivotal part of the show, uh, making her become more transparent than what Candy really wanted to be, uh, you know, say, in past videos, you know, Candy likes sitting on the fence, like riding the fence, and she don't want to make waves or, you know, things of that nature, but if she have to, she will, if you come for her money, her family, and uh, some parts of her friend, she will go in. And uh, Marla has definitely been doing a good job on bringing Candy's uh, mean demeanor out when she really needs to have that mean demeanor, demeanor, okay? And not just focused on Nene Leaks, okay? So, because she, you know, she did kind of, many Candy did kind of get, get in Kenya's ass a little bit about uh, Kenya saying she's just doing too much with that bedroom candy and trying to make them be enticed about it as well. So, Candy has a mean spirit. But I understand her trying to keep her lucrative businesses together and trying to see, uh, seem like she's a, a, a good, good person. You know what I'm saying? But you're even your goodest person on a good day. If they are uh, done wrong, they will come out and show their natural ass. Come on now. That's just only human nature. All right? Uh, that fight and flight mentality. Uh, but going back to the article, it says, um, Phaedra also said that she's on great terms with Apollo Nile, and co-parenting has been smooth. Well, hopefully, uh, Apollo says the same thing about you, Phaedra, when he comes on and tries to piggyback on... Um, I think it was a scene where him and uh, Sheree were talking about how prison inmates, uh, male or female, assimilate back into society once they're released and what really goes on with them. So I'm like, Stranger, mm, you really just kind of uh, <laughs> put yourself out on the ledge there because I'm pretty sure Marla will come back and say a different story about who really was the catalyst that got her on the show. All right, I'm pretty sure she would say something to the fat Nini, and then she may give uh, Kenya and Candy their roses as well. Okay, that's all I got for this video, guys. Like the love, gotta have more. Remember to check in because this weekend is the 4th of July weekend, and really, I'm not planning on doing nothing, so I will be ringing out, pushing out videos on both my channels, and then my daughter would do a little collaborating on our uh, channel we do. Uh, together. So look out for the videos and make sure y'all watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channels, okay? We really do appreciate y'all. We love it when y'all subscribe. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.